Hello everybody and welcome back to LMM and if you're enjoying the kind of stuff that you're seeing on the channel at the moment how about giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to the channel to help us grow. Today we're going to be looking at this my international B275 otherwise known as Jeb. Now this is one of our forgotten vehicles it was once a stalwart of the channel in fact the first official video on LMM was this and then a few episodes later this failed out on the road and we had to be rescued by my friends and since then it's not really done anything because we didn't know why it stopped so today with our grown experience over the few years we're going to have a look and work out just will this start and if it doesn't categorically what is wrong with it so first off i suppose i should get a battery and see if it still turns over or if it's seized if not this is going to be a very very short video God, it's heavy. <clears throat> now, I've stolen the battery that came off the digger, which has plenty of life in it. Now, if I remember correctly, when we last played with this, the solenoid had packed up. So that means that I need to put this over the top, like so, wiggle it in, and then engage the starter and touch there and wait for the spark. That's interesting because there's plenty of smoke. So that means it's doing something and it's got compression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this one and then put this on, which is glow. So let's try that. The stop is very definitely in. Right, that smells hot. So let's now engage again. And, whoop, try again and what well, is smoking so let's try let's try giving it a little sniff whoop. don't want that too close to the sparky sparkies because that'll be interesting and It's going to be difficult. I'm going to have to put a foot on there, a thing on there. Okay, right, you're losing that. Lose the air filter. We don't need that. I'm excited now because that coughed. So what we've established is it is indeed alive. What we've established though is it won't sustain itself, it's just on easy. So we can see the smoke. So we'll just crack all the injectors and see if we are getting fuel through all of them. We're going to start off by cracking these off at the pump. And we're going to see if the pump is putting out a decent amount of fuel and then we'll take it back to the injectors but this is where i suspect our issue lies it's insufficient fuel because it's smoking but it's just not going and doesn't want to go on its own which is strange because i'd expect it to go on its own <clears throat> oh that's interesting pressurized fuel line what have we just got gummed injectors could that could that be the cause right, let's try again and see what happens when we ask it to fire up engage and interesting 
Right, let's just slacken these right off because I suspect what I've actually got is a blockage on these. So what does that mean? Does it mean the pump? Well, oh, come on, off you go. And which injectors aren't working? Does it just mean I need to bleed it up? Has it somehow showed itself? I don't know, but I'm excited. So let's take these off and see where we end up. Right, that's dry and that's dry. Right, let's see what happens when we turn that over. Do we get any fuel out of that at all? That's the big question. If we get fuel out of those two, if not, we know that's where our problem lies, is the pump. Right, okay. So having run that, what we found is that and that are dry. So, two in the middle are doing something, the two on the outside aren't. So that means that my engine is only getting fuel for two cylinders. So that explains why it died. So I'm two cylinders down. So compression appears to be good because it goes and it runs happy on easy start. So what we now have is presumably a diesel issue. So is this the pump being gummed up? Because that's the filter there going up in. So we'll go take this one off next and see, maybe it's that, maybe that's just gunked up, but we'll take these two off and leave them off. So this seems to be, there's life in the old girl yet. Let's go with the 19. Oh, it's the biggest spanner I bought out, too small. It is, fine, I need a 20 something. I've gone and got all of the spanners. Nope. Nope. Yes. Oh, let's not. Oh, God, let's not. God almighty. Maybe we'll take it off here then. There we go. That banjo will come off. We'll do you back up as your the whole thing's moving. But I suspect it's possible this is where our issue is going to be. Right, so this should be the fuel filter for fuel in. So with the banjo off, the idea is the pump throws fuel up from here into the filter here out down there but it feels dry so we're going to attach this to here engage and go okay so what we've learned so far is i don't understand where this is getting fuel from because that should be the filter there should be pushing fuel there but nothing came out of there let's put this back on so that goes back into there so we know we haven't got anything coming out of here I don't understand why this thing is smoking if because the fuel should be coming in from here and there's nothing going into the pump so that doesn't make sense let's take oh, this one off right that feels fuely there's definite fuel there a sausage so we're not getting any fuel at all from here to the filter so has my pump entirely failed or do I have a blockage further afield because it did feel like so that comes in oh why is it even bigger 24. Oh, really? Is 24 the biggest I got? God's sake. Bigger spanner time. So, uh, having found more spanners, 
and I've cracked that off. And this is all very wet and easily. <laughs> well, that's our issue. Let's just double check that's fully open from the tank. There is nothing coming up the tank. That line's got a blockage. It's got to be that line's got a blockage. There's nothing coming out. Such an, an insufficient amount. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that off. There we go. Wait, do you lift? No, the fuel tank's just released. So there we go. Free that off. Okay, we have fuel. Ah, we have a better flow of fuel. Oh, this might, <laughs> this might have done it. Take you off, my little friend. Things are happening. Right. Right, so from the tank itself, if we open up the tank here, it should now just come straight out with a huge amount of fuel. Oh, who does it? <laughs> well, there was our problem. There indeed is our problem. So Matt and Morgan came up to offer their advice and to request assistance, and that put an end to day one. It's now day two and I'm back, optimistic that this is going to fire up. So down here, to recap, this is the fuel tank feed. And if I open this up like so, fuel now should rush out. Fuel does not rush out. The drip is encouraging, but it's not what it should be that should be a torrent of fuel. As you see, as I play with the plug, it kind of gets better and worse. So I suspect that it's all of that is bunged up. So what we're gonna do first is I'm going to get this pump here and get this tiny piece of, definitely not off Matt's car, drop that into the fuel tank, connect that to that, And then that's going to feed into this, which clearly says definitely diesel and not unleaded. So we're going to stick that into there and we're going to drain the tank. Negative and positive, like that. And now go for go. Come on, do your job. Any second now. Any second. Yes. Here we go. this right Ugh. Let's get rid of that now we'll see how much diesel we actually have left in the tank all right oh god can I even get that all the way in without losing it and that's a good question there's still quite a bit of diesel in there that's a horrendous amount of diesel. Well, that was a pointless adventure. That's 
tons of fuel in there. Right, okay, how do we do, do this then? Plan B, I suppose, try blasting it out. Or taking that off. Let's try plan B. So, I thought that I'd just drain it out. It wouldn't be a, a huge problem because there wasn't much in there. Turns out, the tank is huge. So, I've got that. Probably should get a funnel, actually. But I'm going to try and just remove the fuel bowl from the bottom because I assume that's where the blockage is. And so I'm going to need to capture the diesel just to prevent an environmental disaster. Ah, oh, yes, I remember why I hated this because... It is very difficult. Oh, I've just done it up. Right, I've got to be honest with you. When they were designing this, they didn't. They just were like, how can we be the most annoying that we could possibly be. Well, I know. Let's put everything, it's not as bad as the digger, mind you. Right, come here. Yes, that is finger tight, good. Can I get another hand onto that? Maybe finger tight, I still can't get me poxy hand into it to do it. is in the way of itself. There we go. <clears throat> ow, ow, ow. Ow. How do I... That's off, so I can now give, presumably, uh, you. You. Yes, no, yes, this one. <coughs> A hard <coughs> target it should come out. It has come out brilliant. So now all right. Is the moment yes that's the speed or which diesel should come out of one of these oh wow this is completely and utterly solid so we'll take that off because that's not going back on with that one there and now i think we'll take this into the workshop oh diesel and uh, we're going to go blow it through and see, see what happens. All right, have a look down in there at that amount of sludgy. So that's probably our issue. But can you see the amount of sludge in there? It is absolutely, completely and utterly blocked. And I appreciate you can't see it probably because there's no light. Right, so, blocked thing, air intake, and hopefully, oh god, that went in my face. God, that's so blocked, I can't even get a good seal. Let's go this way. Ah, that was better. Ooh!
The big thing here, ladies and gentlemen, in fact, if I bring this to you, you may be able to see down it now. If I bring it right up to the camera and ask it to focus on that. Nope, still completely dead to you guys, but all you need to know is that you can now see down this, which therefore means if I can see down it, it's probably, probably a tiny chance that it's actually going to do what I need it to do. So that's very, very exciting indeed. All it is, is a matter of putting that back into there, like that. Go and actually, let's have a quick poke in there. When I've restored this tractor, I am 100% going to have to take the tank off. But there we go, that goes on like, oh God, where's my spanner? Like. That, that's on. So what we'll do as a test is we'll go get the the hooko, my little fuel bowl here. We'll give me a little fuel bowl, just a quick wipe out, just so it actually functions as a fuel bowl and I can see what's in it, which is the whole point of a fuel bowl. So you're meant to periodically take these things off to uh, see, you know, see what's in it. Right, what have I done with, ah, perfect. So this is the bottom that holds it in place. Uh-huh. Just a quick wipe again. The rag I've chosen appears to be as grubby as anything else. All right, so this now clips on the bottom of that. And this goes on like that. So that you come either side. Oh, should have put this on first, to be honest. That would have been a lot easier. Go on, round you go. That clips on there, that clips on there. That drops back while we get you in the side. It goes like so. Oh, you are a stupid design of tractor, you really are. And that hopefully has gone into its clip on that side. It has. And now we can do that up nice and tight to put the fuel bowl in. So, next stage is that's screwed up, so we will use some of the diesel here, chuck a load into the tank, like, see the thing is now that I'm rather excited and I think this is going to go. Leave that somewhere to drain to lose all of the the diesel from it. Right. So now, theoretically, if I open up this, this should now fill up quickly. Oh, look at that! Fuel rushing in to fill up the fuel bowl. Now that is a far better rate of flow. Now that's 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 what we're excited about. That's what we want genuinely excited about that why do i have a spare radiator cap on this i don't know right that's exciting so now i just need to install you back into this right okay maybe i should have done this first definitely should have done this first how on earth am i mm. problems goes back to the whole design ethos of this which is be a pain in the backside about it how um, come on come on go on find the thread it's not that hard once it's in it will be okay and it's, it's, it's like getting this fuel line connected is going to be an absolute pig oh for heat's sake I regret this so much. Maybe I should have just taken the whole. No, wouldn't have made sense. How on earth did I do this before? There we go. Ah. Yes.
so if all goes well, we open this, there should be a decent amount of fuel now coming out. Oh, look at that flow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, why has it stopped? Why have you stopped flowing? You haven't immediately got blocked up, have you? No. That is, that is how it's meant to be. No wonder it wasn't going. <laughs> it's gonna go. Right, let's get this back on. It is the 26. Right, so that can come out. Have a little bit of the grub rubbed off it. <sighs> Good. That can go into there. That can go into there. That felt like that's not gone in right. <laughs> yeah, give you a little. That's better, that's gone in right. Now we do this up. Like so. And now we take it off there. We don't know. Let's try. try no. No. No, what you? 19. What do I have that's bigger than 19 to hand? <clears throat> Probably a 20. 20 would do. 20 and 21. 18. 22. 22 looks optimistic. Nope, 21. Definitely 21. Oh, wait, that's be tightening up, won't it? Let's try and undo these. There we go. Right. So we'll undo that. It's got a lot of work to do to fill that filter, I'll tell you that much. We might actually fill that manually. Right. So if we find my starting strap and see if we can get some fuel to draw through. All right, so we tap you to there, get the engager in and <laughs> That's better. That's much better. <laughs> right, let's start. See if we can get this to bleed up. Let's stick that back on. Pop is pumping diesel. I am very happy because it means it should now work. Right, we'll take this one off. <clears throat> we'll see if anything pops out of this one now. See if, if that's empty, and I suspect that's going to be empty. Take that, take you, take you, uh, reconnect. You might get a solenoid out of this if you fire up. Ah, feel, 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 feel. <laughs> it's gonna go it's gonna go i'm excited because it's gonna go which means we're actually back here where we started on the injector pump so let's go again and see if we can get anything out of these injectors which is more than we had before right so engage again and Come on. Not a sausage. Okay. Let's just try turning over again, I suppose. Let's see if anything exciting happens. Put the lead back on. Come on, we need some something out of that fuel injector, don't we? Come on. Oh, that's one. One's got some. Oh, that's very exciting. Right, one's got some. Oh, you're getting, you are going to get a new thing for this, I'm sure. Um, what are you, are you that? Number one is back. This is really exciting. I don't think you quite understand just how excited I am by this. That's number one. So obviously I need to crack these 
at the other end as well. But at least doing this, we know that we're getting fuel through to the injectors. So as long as I get number four working, then I can crack them at the other end. And then I think, I think this will go. I don't see any reason why it won't. Oh, this is very exciting. This is very, very exciting. This is gonna go, it is gonna go. I've, I've decided it's gonna go. I'm very excited. <laughs> so I just need to crack. Uh, oh, and it got noise. Ow, 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 ow. That's that one. Start bleeding that one up. Then we need to do anti-clockwise. That one to start you bleeding up. This one to start you bleeding up. And finally, this one uh, anti-clockwise to start. Ow, that's me finger. Ow, I mean nail rather. Start you bleeding up. So obviously, I've still got my injection pump off on that one but that doesn't matter so much because let's see if we can start getting fuel to the injectors but then we are making progress right one and two i got have got fuel i see one and two have got fuel right i'm gonna just Take you right off because four still doesn't appear to but that's fine so we are now finally after years literal years we have got fuel returning so that's going to be now two so i'm still just waiting on number four to prime itself up because it's not doing anything quite yet oh hello that looks, that looks like four might actually start to be... Oh, four's full. Four is full. Four's got stuff in it. Oh, this is truly, truly exciting. Put that back onto there. You want to engage, Ian. That's number three. Number three, duff and strip. Right, so all that remains now is get number four. And now I would have thought by now we would start to be thinking about wanting to go. Now I know I need glow plugs with this one. So that once we've got it bled, we'll go for some glow. And maybe a bit of ether, the uh, magic start. <laughs> Which I can't say on YouTube, but I love the Australian version. Right, cylinder four. Come on. Ah, that's number four. And also, there's a whiff of diesel in the air. It's starting, it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. 100%, 100% sure it's gonna. Which will be an amazing thing because it will show just how much we have grown in the last years since this stopped working. The fact we've gone from, oh, I don't know what's wrong with it to I know what's wrong with it it had no fuel which i know for those of you who are experts on the subject or maybe just not complete idiots obvious for me huge technological breakthrough i'm getting an idea of what we're doing oh right uh, this is a movie this would be great character development right thoughts Helpy magic stuff. We're going to touch the glow, which is this one, and touch that circuit there, which is glow. Some diesel in there. One, two, three, four, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good enough for me. 
cap on there. Right. Engage and oops. Right, you're getting ether, because that was that was the noise of a, a thing going. back in so it's got some diesel I know some of it's sludge but Mostly rust, I think, is the problem in there. Right. The fuel gone. So, move these panners out of the way. So we all know there's only one logical thing to do at this point. And that's find out if it will go again. Right, throttle mid, engage on that. Are you still going to work? Yes, you are. So believe it or not, there we have it, running again. As lumpy as it ever was, if you do know why it's lumpy like this, I assume something's wrong with the governor, maybe the spring's gone or it needs a rebuild, don't know, but it is alive. At the higher revs, it stops being quite so, well, Oh, 
all I've more to say. Let me know if you know how to fix it. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this restore one of the first vehicles, in fact, the first vehicle to appear on the channel back to a somewhat operational life. I did realise on the drive round though that I've taken the brakes off, so it's got absolutely nothing. But it's back. It's another working vehicle. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this one, how about some of the other first starts we've done, including the first start of this when we recovered it way back before LMM started. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.